Hey, welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen how to create this explosion. And now in this video, we will see some of the settings in this explosion and also we'll refine it. So first of all, when we click on this play here, if you see now the fire explosion is going under this ground level. So what the thing is, I want this container should act like a collision uh, to this ground level. So in order to do that, we need to select this pyro solver and we need to go to this option called like bounce. And here you can see there is an like boundary conditions. So at present, if you see here, the treat Y as an open. So now we need to set it to like close below. So when we click on this, so we will go to the first frame. And now what the thing is the container will act like a collision under this ground level. So if you click on this play, and now you can see here the container acting like a collision uh, to the Y axis near to the ground level. So it will look more natural uh, when it is creating the collision with the ground. And now what the thing is, the explosion is disappearing soon. So suppose in case if you want to increase the time. Uh, so now if you select this pyro solver and if you go to this like uh, fields option, here you can see there is an option called disappearation. So we can decrease this value so that it will increase the duration of this explosion. So now we will see this. Let us give the value to 0 0.001 or something. And now we will see. And here you can see now the smoke is staying for a long time when compared to the previous value. And also uh, like if you go to this sourcing and if you come down, you can increase this scale of this uh, divergence. So uh, we will give the value like a uh, fire or something. So now we'll just go to the first frame and we'll see now. So what the thing is, whenever you are using this value, so the fire is going to be stay for a long time. Previously, the fire has been disappeared very soon. So now when we use this divergence, now the, the duration of this fire will be increased and literally we will get this smoke here. And also next we will go to the shape tab. Uh, so if you select this and here we can see there is an option like flame expansion, we can enable this and just we can use this like 0 0.1 or something. And now we will see this. Okay, now we got this nice simulation here. And next, what the thing is now, if you want to increase the height of this uh, explosion here, uh, so we need to select this pyro solver. And if you go to this like sourcing here, if you come to this temperature, like defaultly, the operation is set it to like pull. So instead of that, we will uh, click on this add. So before that, I will go to the first frame. And now if you select this add option, now it will going to increase the uh, like height of this explosion. So we'll click on this play. And now you can see it has been increased the height of this explosion here. So if you want to make it look more natural, uh, so just we'll decrease the value of this temperature. So just le let's say we'll give the value to 0 0.2. And also if you come down, we can give the velocity as well. So 0 0.2. So now we will see this. So now see the explosion is looking more natural. And now what the thing is, suppose if you want to decrease the speed of this rising explosion, so now uh, it is rising very fast. Suppose if you want to decrease the speed, so we need to select this pyro solver. And now here we need to go to this option like shape. And here we can see there is an option log buoyancy. So we can decrease, let's say we'll uh, give the value to 0 0.5 or something. And now just we will simulate. So here now the rising speed of this explosion has been decreased. Next, what the thing is in the top of this explosion, I want to see the fire. Uh, so now we are not able to see the fire. So it's completely there is a smoke here. So in order to see the fire on this top, we need to take a node called pyro big volume. So we need to select this and we need to connect to this pyro solver and just enable this. And now what the thing is in this node, we need to go to this like option called like scatter and just we need to enable this. Now say we got this fire on this top of this explosion and here you can see there is an option like intensity scale if you if you want to increase you can increase the intensity and you can decrease the intensity by using this option. So now we will click on this play. Uh, so just I will go to the first frame. So here we are getting this nice simulation. So we can see the like fire on this top of this explosion. And now we will add some sort of like turbulence and disturbance to this thing. So it will look more natural. So in order to do that, we need to go to this pyro solver. And here we have to enable this option like disturbance. And also we need to enable this turbulence and just we'll give the value of this turbulence to like 0 0.7. And now we'll go to the first frame. So we got this more turbulence to this uh, simulation here. And also next, uh, if you select this, so in this disturbance, I will give the value to like 50. 
and also just I will enable this option. Uh, when you come down, you can see there is an option like use control field. Just I will enable this and also go to this uh, field option and also we will enable the speed. And also in this uh, speed field, when you go to this shape and here, if you come down and in the speed field, we can give the range to like one to five. And now we will see this. And now here we are getting this nice details. And also we can able to see the proper fire laterally in the final when we uh, change this value to lower in this like voxel size. So now at present it has been set it to like 0 0.5. The details are very less. So if you want to see the more detailed fire, we need to decrease this voxel size. Or if you want to see more detail, uh, we need to go to inside this like pyro solver. So here we need to add a node called gas vortex confinement. So select this and we need to connect to this like force output. So we will change the value here. So just we'll give the value to like five. So now let's see, uh, we'll go back. So now it has been added more details. So just we'll see from first and see here we're getting nice details. So we got this nice details uh, over the smoke here and also the fire. And now we will decrease the value of this voxel size. Uh, so like just we'll put the value to 0 0.2 or something. And now we will see this. And also after changing this voxel size, uh, we need to go to this fields option. And also we will enable this emit from flame. And also we will decrease this cooling rate uh, of this temperature. So let's say we will give the value to 0 0.2. So if you use this value, so we'll get the more natural look in this explosion. So now uh, in order to render this, what I will do is I will just use the flip book here. So just I will set the angle properly. And now we will use the flip book to render this. So I will just click on this. So see now we got this nice simulation. So just if you pause this, see here we got this more natural simulation here. So in the next video, we will see how to add a smoke trials to the explosion. So see you there.